my candle, ready to rock and roll with our evening prayers. <laughs> Ah, well, it's the close of day. It's time for us. Hello, Carol, good evening. And for whoever else is joining us tonight. So we are closing off this day. And for those who are with us this morning, we kind of started the day with uh, just praying that God would give us opportunities to love our neighbors and that God would send us out into our neighborhoods and into just our lives and the people that we come in contact with um, to love, opportunities to love those around us. So I'm eager to hear what happened in your day and this is where I wish this was more of like a Zoom call so I could hear, you could share the stories, but we'll make do with, with what we can. So as we go along here, I'll be asking you at some point, what's your God sighting? Where did you see God at work in your neighborhood? Was there anything that happened today that where God answered your prayer of being able to love a neighbor and um, recognize a neighbor. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll get into that in just a moment. So I put the liturgy in your comments. It's also in the video description. Um, let's pray. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Grant us a quiet night, a peace at last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing your praises, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of day. By day, O God, you grant your steadfast love. At night, your song is within me prayer to the God of my life. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Join me in a posture of humility that we may bring our confession to God. Let us pray. Grant that I may settle this day and put to rest my failings. Holy Spirit, come now and re reveal to me what I should confess. All is in a moment of quiet reflection. As the Holy Spirit brings to your attention, brings to my attention, what it is that we are to confess this night. To join me in praying. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask for forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ. Rise in the morning to serve him. Amen. Reading from Proverbs 24, verses 28 through 34. Do not testify against your neighbor without cause. Would you use your lips to mislead? Do not say, I'll do that. I'll do to them as they have done to me. I'll pay them back for what they did. 
I went past the field of the sluggard, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed, and I learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man. This is the word of the Lord. As we continue now, we open up our heart for the gospel reading. We close this day with your holy word. We meditate on it day and night. While we sleep, we rest on the arms of your holy word. While we close our eyes, you continue to speak your word over us. When we wake afresh tomorrow, we live upon your holy word. Amen. Luke chapter 9, verses 10. This is the completion of the reading from this morning. As you remember, Jesus sent out the twelve. And he sent them into the neighborhoods to speak about the kingdom of God and heal the sick. And verse 10, we come to um, the story. It says that when the apostles returned, they reported to Jesus what they had done. Then he took them with him and they withdrew by themselves to a town called Bethsaida. And that's what I hope we can do in a moment now. Just to report what we have seen, what we have heard, um, what happened today as we join Jesus on his mission in our neighborhood. Take a moment now. And if nothing happened, then report that. <laughs> but take a moment and report what Jesus has done in your life today and how. He has shown you um, in what ways you have been loving your neighbor. Now, oftentimes we are instructed in the Bible to not let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. And so we come in a real spirit of humility tonight that whatever we share is not because we want to make ourselves look better than we are, because the Lord knows our hearts and knows why we're doing it. But rather, we're sharing so that we can encourage each other and share what God is doing in our neighborhoods. Okay? So take a moment now and in the comments, write, um, give us a report of what it was like today, loving your neighbors and loving those around you. Did anything in particular happen? Did you notice anything? Was there a particular conversation? Share that with us right now? What was your God sighting? What was the story that you had to share about joining Jesus on his mission?
Ah, I wish we could sit here and share these in person, but this is amazing. Cool stuff, guys. Bless you and bless what God is doing in your neighborhood. As Carol reminds us tonight in her comment, tomorrow is our call to prayer walk our neighborhood. So make sure you spend some time walking through your neighborhood and praying for your neighbors. Praise God. Thank you for sharing your stories of what God is doing in your life. That's awesome. That's so good. Well, let's keep going and close out this night so that we can rise tomorrow to join Jesus again on the adventure of joining him. Let's do this. Let's pray. Merciful Lord, keep watch with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. You join me in praying the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table in the presence of mine enemies. My cup overflows. You anoint my head with oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless and preserve and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Now go and rest in the peace of who Christ is and in the joy of knowing that we have an adventure tomorrow to look forward to and the hope of an opportunity to love another. Amen. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. God bless you and make sure you read through the comments, some really cool stories going on. And we join each one of these stories and we pray, we pray for each one of you. God bless you and I'll be out prayer walking with you guys tomorrow. God bless.